guys. Morning, welcome back. Half fast, 719. Doing some laundry for work. Letting my bags air out because I got a bunch of water. Anyway, let's get to it. Today is the install day of the Ram Man 4x4. The Ram Man Ink locking hubs. Oh, shit. There's one almost bruised. That's all right. I got to assemble it anyway. So there you go. Four by four locking hubs. Video is at the Ram Man Inc. There's his phone number. No sponsorship from the guy. Oh, wait. Anyway. Um, got all. Well, I don't have all the tools set up. But I'll grab tools as I need them. Did go pick up a new grease gun. And some grease. Um, I couldn't find the grease that he had listed in here, wherever it was. Um, this grease. Um, be sure to grease the bearings to the ABS sensor, blah, 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 blah. I couldn't find. This says special auto and marine grease. Um, I couldn't find it, but this is a uh, multi-purpose heavy duty synthetic polymer grease industry waterproof so it's for marine boat cars trucks tractors lawn mowers ideal for marine automotive trucking industrial last up to eight times longer made in America USA market and it does it did say on here um, waterproof contains blah 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 and LGI Hashtag or pound 1.5 and it says 80 pound Tim Kin rating So that's why I got this And a new grease gun So anyway, um, I did get the torque specs the four bolts that hold the wheel bearing in these bolts here that go in here Those are going to be torqued down to 150 pounds foot pounds and the caliper bracket bolts, believe it or not, I'm not even lying, 275 foot pounds. I took a picture of this junk. Just just in case. Caliper adapter mounting bolts front 2500, 3500, 275 foot pounds. What? And then the uh the hub wheel bearings, hub bearings, 149 foot pounds. That was the sun this morning. Pretty crazy. That's how dirty my clothes are. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna get into it. A lot less talking. Sun's not out. We got a lot of smoke all over. It's pretty smoky. Smoky in the bandit. Anyway. Three minutes in already, already blabbing. We get the camera set up, um, and uh, from here on out will be high speed, except for when I do my comparison. High speed, I mean, whatever, fast forward, whatever you want to call it. All right, I'll uh, get the wheels and tires and all that junk off.
Sorry guys. Wheels, tires, tires, wheels. Brake rotors are off. <clears throat> so make sure you have something to hang. Oh, I'm zoomed in. Make sure you have something to hang these calipers. These calipers are really heavy. And then I just stick the bolts back in. This is a 24 millimeter bolt. This is the one that gets torqued down to 250 million pounds. Um, I did just do the brakes and wheel bearings, or uh, not wheel bearings, but the bearings and everything. Um, this one does have a new U-joint in it, so it is the passenger side that's going to get a new U-joint. These are Carly, Carly ball joints in here, if you watch any of my other videos. Those I already greased. I greased, uh, I greased the last time I was in here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, ABS sensor out. It's a little 5 millimeter Allen. That's right in there. Take that out. And then uh, zip these four bolts off. These bolts get torqued down to 150 foot-pounds. So, um... Yeah, I'm gonna try to leave this. I'm gonna try to leave this axle in, and then uh, I gotta take this nut off. So I got a cotter pin, and I cannot remember what size. One and a quarter inch socket, 32 millimeter, 36 millimeter. I can't remember. <sighs> I'm bored out. Here's a 38. Here's a. 36, I think it might be a little bigger than a 36. Try 36. Nope, way bigger. Not even a 38. So we might have to get into the inches. Um, or I gotta. Um, so I start out here. 36. See here. Let's get into some inches. Inch and seven sixteenths. Inch and a half. Oh, almost dropped it. Inch and seven sixteenths. Nope. Oh, man, way bigger. We might. We might be getting into. Where this hell was. Throw them an inch and a half. Man, it might be. We might be getting up there. Let's go for an uh, inch and three quarter. That looks used. Might be it. Oh, a little too big. Inch and three quarters. So it's probably an inch and five eighths. Which I don't know if I have an inch and five eighths. If I don't, I don't know why this toolbox isn't opening all the way. Inch and five eighths. Let me try that madness. Um, yep. Inch and five eighths it is. All right, I'm gonna take this nut off. I'm gonna take this off, and then, uh, yeah, and then assemble assemble this side because this side's ready to go. Um, I'm just gonna put some grease, put some grease in here, assemble one of these, then I'll have to put the spacer on and uh, slap it together. So let me uh, assemble this and then disassemble that. I'll be back. All right, guys, to assemble it, this is what I've done. I put some grease in there. Not sure if you're supposed to have grease in here, but I want this thing to unlock and lock. And uh, so, yeah, just take this off. This little cap, capa lapa, little grease. Uh, the Fords have a vacuum assisted actuator, so the basically the front diff is sealed. So, they already installed grease in there. So I'm just going to drop this in. Fingers real quick. So I'm going to drop it in. 
just like that. Align the holes and press it. And then take three of the screws. One, two, three. Um, if I can get in there. Don't you don't need to use no impact drill, just use a regular Phillips screwdriver. Just a, a number two Phillips screwdriver. Cross thread them. And the washing machine will spin for it says one minute left on the wash, but it'll spin for jeez man, I was out here for twenty something minutes one day. So I don't know the torque on these. I'm just hand tightening them. One thing is that uh, they're going to send me some mile markers, so that thing is ready to go. That's pretty much it. Now let's go pull. Let's go pull. I'm not going to bring this over there until I'm ready, but let's go pull the that front uh, glue bearing off. All right, let's get to taking this off. So, needle nose pliers. Um, or pliers or whatever you want to use. I have a 18 millimeter swivel wobbly socket or you can use 18 millimeter straight. Get the bolts off. No big deal. 5 millimeter Allen wrench to take the uh, sensor off. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, I might see if I can't tap this off. Oh, you will need the 1 and 5 eighths inch. Uh, one and five eighths inch nut to get the axle nut off because I'm gonna try to leave the axle in there. So let me get to taking it all off. Alright guys, so I forgot I have to pack the grease. Pack it full of grease with my new grease gun. Needs destructions. Can't figure it out. Go back to math class. So obviously that's gonna go in there. 
and uh, I'll get all the grease in there and basically oh, I'm just gonna take this take the little fitting that the kit came with put it in here put it right in in there just fits in there kind of snug and I'll pump up to about two squirts of grease in there and then uh, we'll go install it because the other piece is un uninstalled um, so on that fast faster video so let me get grease in here go install it I'll be back alright guys pump the grease in there got this grease gun all set up and uh, it's all good to go. Throw some grease on that junk. Grease gun. This grease gun's pretty nice, actually. Really nice grease gun. That'll be a tool review. So, all right, let me go set you guys up over there. Over. Not down there. <laughs> over there. And uh, yeah get uh, started on this install I guess got the parts here don't forget to uh, put this plate on um kinda don't know if I should run grease on there or not oh there's there's grease on the on the splines already so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this actually on the wheel bearing so see it's on the wheel bearing before I put it on uh oh which way does it go uh oh anyway so go ahead he said to assemble it the way it's supposed to be already so taking it Making sure that the uh, ABS sensors up top. Let's see if I can't get a couple of these bolts started already. Um, one. There will be two. Three and there's four. Okay, it's just I'm just gonna try to zip these down as far as I can go, which doesn't look like it's gonna be that far. Just snugging them up. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Let's see. So now these are gonna have a lot more resistance because they are. happy with that so you gotta remember these are brand new so like I said in a previous video they're probably gonna have more resistance more resistance than uh, uh, than the other wheel bearings because the other wheel bearings are pretty much blown out and I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a bench test I'm gonna stick an old one an old one on the bench on the vise and uh, I'll stick to one of the new ones on and we'll do a little little testing on that one more washer is on the washer machine so let me get all these bolts tightened torqued down we'll stick it in there um, and then we'll do a little walk around of it showing the uh, differential 
spanning, the drive shaft spanning, all that stuff. So I'll back. I guess somehow the video camera shut off, but stuck the brake rotor on, um, stuck the caliper on, stopped to tighten these bolts to one million foot pounds, and this side will be done. So, um, I just want to note, I ended up using a one and three quarter inch socket to get the axle nut off. Um, I don't I don't know what size it actually is because this sits in there really loose, so maybe like one and eleven sixteenths. I'm sure it's metric of some sort. So here we go, the Ram Man. Got that one on. Got this one all on. I got a new U joint in there. Only thing that concerns me is is this up and down play and in and out play. I don't know if you can see it or not. You got in and out, and you got up and down play. That's no, not not in the U joint. Um, kind of wondering if that's what the one guy was talking about in his question. So, got the same play here. Um, you got the in and out. But, if you're only using it in four wheel drive, I don't think there'll be a concern. Um, I do, it does look like maybe Spacers aren't on on this side right properly, so I'll have to rotate the wheel. It'd be better if they were more of a pressed on style spacer. Um, because I'll show you real quick. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, this one's this one I made sure it was it's on there solid. The other one doesn't look like it's on there solid oh. but anyway throw wheels and tires on real quick and uh, I have to clean up a mess u-joint mess the factory u-joints are kind of a pain in the butt to get out um yeah so let me, let me throw wheels and tires on there and uh, go from there I'll be back show you guys how I'm gonna do my lock unlock the wheel hub center cap whatever you want to call it I'll be back alright people tires are on wheels are on no play tire spinning oh drive shaft is not lock See, lock that side. Tire spinning. I think you can see. Oh, maybe not. Let's see if you can see. 
see that. So since that wheel is not locked, free okay so that's locked as you can see I'm spinning this tire and that wheel spinning oh boy Whew. anyway going down jack down I think what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to throw center caps on since these center caps are not that hard to remove. Oh boy. Now that I say that. Okay. I think I'm putting it in there wrong. There's that. One. Make sure this is free. Freeze that way. Okay. That is it. The most dangerous stuff in the world. Worse than a virus. Hey, anyway, guys. Sorry, I wore out. That you joint kind of beat me up. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to call it a quits. I'm going to go get something to eat or I'm going to go in the house to eat something. And then, uh, I got to clean up. I'm filthy. I wash up. I more laundry to do. Anyway, you guys have any comments, questions, anything, uh, just feel free to ask. As you can see, I have no more parts. No more parts here. I just have... The paper, the two condoms, two plastic bags, one for the spacers and one for the locking hubs, uh, and cards. Trash. Um, and a grease gun. That's it. So, success. I put it on. All done. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, go check out, uh, the Ram Man Inc. And uh, give them a call if you want some of these. It's about 1800 bucks, 1700 bucks if you uh, do a video for them. All you got to do is upload a video. And uh, yeah, that's it. It'll be 1700 bucks. Um, Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, tell me what you guys think. Stay tuned for the next video where I'm going to go drive it. And. Uh, Check the MPGs. I know the MPGs aren't. There's not going to be a difference right now, right away. Um, like I said, because they're brand new bearings. But in time will tell. Due time will tell. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next video. Peace.